Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Ankle Geist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. I greatly appreciate them. This is the daily forecast for um, Tuesday, August 17th. It is not solely set for that day. It's more about the message than the date, but this is, um, for those of you that watch regularly, this is the Tuesday reading. Um, please check out the drop down menu below the video on the YouTube channel to figure out, um, you know, certain housekeeping rules and where to get hold of me via social media if you want a private reading. Uh, you can always tip me for any reading that you see if you want to send money via PayPal. My PayPal link is in the screen. All of that stuff is available for you there. Uh, this is a broad spectrum reading uh, intended for all signs. So it is a collective energy that is shared out there and available to us all. Take what you need and leave the rest. Um, that's about it pretty much, I think. You know, if I miss anything, watch another video and... Oh, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Uh, those things greatly help the channel to grow. Uh, you can also feel free to share the video out with anybody that um, you would like. And let's see what's going on with the cards today. What do we need to know? It's amazing to me how like nicely this deck shuffles. Beautiful, like the way this card shuffles. It's like butter. Okay, hey, get a two of swords. So what's interesting to me about this Two of Swords, usually Two of Swords indicates like sort of an indecision. It can oftentimes be a negative card or not being able to sort of see things that are right in front of us, right? Or at least that's sort of the, the imagery. There's always a woman in the traditional Rider Waite deck that has, she's sort of, um, she's got two swords crossing in front of her chest and she usually has a blindfold on. So, you know, you feel like you're kind of at a crossroads, you're stuck. Um, two of Swords can oftentimes be like a no in a reading if you're asking sort of a yes or no question. What's interesting to me in this Two of Swords is two things jumped out at me the minute I saw it. One is how fixated on the future that cat appears to be. Actually, three things. Let's just say that because there's a little bit of a, I feel like a different take here with this Two of Swords. I mean, you do get that kind of maybe no, not moving forward with the cross swords, but the cat seems very fixated on the future. And yes, he might be in a slightly precarious situation, right? Standing on those two swords. But there's this sunbeam here that looks to also indicate like there's something on the horizon or something, a new dawn could be, uh, a new day could be dawning, so to speak, in a situation. But also this run of fish, these like tuna or sardines or whatever these are, Underneath this situation or underneath this potential indecision, there seems to be a bounty or a treasure of some sort is kind of what I'm getting from this card, right? Just those are the things that instantly hit me when um, I looked at the card. It's like, oh, wait, we might feel stuck or we might feel like we're unable to move forward as of yet, but that's not stopping us from planning, right? The cat. And that's not stopping us from being aware that once we do make the decision, there's something really big to be had post decision make. <laughs> oh my God, my English is so bad. I need more coffee. Post making that decision. Does that make sense? Right? Um, and this does not feel as, as traditionally like sort of at a standstill as a normal two of swords would for me. Does it feel like we can't move with the, the greatest of ease right now? Yeah. Does it feel like we might have to think about what steps we take or in which way we take those steps? Yes. Um, but we're not completely um, uh, uh, like either undecided or um, uh, unable to um, set into motion a set of plans. There could be something in our way, right? There could be something that holds us uh, some like final detail or, uh, you know, maybe it's an expectation of someone else. Maybe it's a need that's required within this situation, whatever you're dealing with that requires your attention prior to being able to move forward. But this cat certainly seems like he is ready to, uh, 
rise to the occasion in a way. A lot, oftentimes with the Two of Swords, it doesn't necessarily feel like you can even rise or, or do anything. You kind of just have to sort of wait it out until the blindfold falls or the swords are removed, that sort of thing. I feel like this cat's no way, um, in, in no way like allowing his situation to stop him. Does that make sense? Um, swords is the element of air, which would be the thoughts. And even though these thoughts might be crossed or wires could be crossed, he's not letting that deter him from thinking about, okay, so how do I, how do I get this treasure? How do I make this goal happen? How do I, uh, end out on, on top. And there's a certain amount of optimism between all of the fish at the bottom and the sun in the sort of in the background to me that says that indeed we will get beyond this if we are feeling challenged in some way. Um, we will sort out our, our thoughts or, um, what we need to get sorted out so that we can move forward. Remember, we're now, this is Tuesday, so we should be feeling the shift between that. Um, oh, that's interesting, too. There's that shift. We had the Seven of Cups, which is that indecision, right? Moving into the Eight of Wands, which is that forward movement, sort of being directed. And uh, what I mean by being directed is like uh, being focused on something and then moving towards it, right? And this cat here, to me, looks like the beginnings of that focus, right? Even though he has that Two of Swords um, standstill vibe to him, right? He's not, he's getting up and almost trying to get a better view of, okay, so when I am able to go, which direction am I heading, right? So this is the beginning of sort of maybe sorting out our mind from our hearts, right? Because our hearts would be the seven of cups. Our mind would be sort of this two of swords. And our spirit is that eight of wands that's about to kick in. Some of you guys might be feeling that eight of wands energy already, that desire to move forward. And now is the time to start to plan to uh, make um, haste and and move forward. There, Like I said, there might be some small detail. There could be some... Uh, uh, part of this that needs some attention before like, the key gets put in the latch and the door is open for us to walk through. Does that make sense? But I do feel like there's a sense of control here that doesn't necessarily always come with the Two of Swords. Um, the Two of Swords sometimes can feel stuck. This to me does not feel stuck. It does feel stationary, like we're in a pos position where we maybe aren't moving as of yet, but we're not allowing that to um, take hold in our mind. Does that make sense? We are, um, this cat is totally like looking, planning, not giving in or giving up. Okay. So that's a good thing. So let's see what's going on here with the psychic tarot of the heart. Okay. We see this card a lot. This is card number two, spread your wings. And I love this because she looks like she's also moving in the same direction as the cat. The card's border is purple, which always takes me to this place of the spirit, right? Um, and she's sort of connected to what it is that she wants. She is, she has a vision of moving forward, similar to this cat, right? But she maybe isn't necessarily moving forward as of yet. She's standing there open to the situation, open to the circumstances. She's willing to spread her wings, right? and maybe take flight when the time is right. But she's definitely paying attention. There's a presence in both of these two cards that feels like there's an awareness or a, uh, I, um, uh, a present moment awareness is what I want to say. In both of these cards where we are looking to the future, paying attention to the now, and, and making our decisions from what we're experiencing or what is right in front of us, it feels very much, both of these cards feel very much alert aware, attentive, um, uh, you know, uh, we might find ourselves today gathering sort of, I don't know, information from others and their behaviors or from situations and what's going on that will, uh, uh, um, what's the word, influence our decisions in the moment. Like, to me, these two cards feel very much like in real time right? As we're experiencing it. Yes, they're both focused to the future. And yes, there's this plan, it feels like. But um, we're not 
how do I want to describe this? Like, I feel like she's not necessarily running forward either. She's open stance. She's connected to her spirit through this light here, right? Through her knowing. This is the mind here. And they both have this sort of light on the horizon that they're heading towards. Do you know this idea of what it is that they want? They're also not in resistance to standing in their current position and assessing the situation to be able to make the best decision possible for themselves. Does that make sense? And when the time is right, they will very much spread their wings and move towards what it is that uh, we see as our goal or as our outcome. Does that make sense? So there's a lot of hope here, even though that's the two of swords, which I find funny. All right. Let's see what the grounding stone is. Okay. So the grounding stone today, something to um, ground in is health. Now, the minute I see this, I think of mental health because of that two of swords, right? But also maybe our spiritual health too, a little bit because of the purple border of this spread your wings card. And spreading your wings is kind of about like lifting up your spirit, feeling that inspiration, allowing yourself to dream and believe, right? And even though the two of swords is that sort of cross swords, like no kind of energy, it's not to me in this case. It feels like anything that's blocking us or standing in our way, the cat is climbing up on top of it to see beyond it. Does that make sense? And so our health today, our spiritual health, our mental health would be key uh, for us to focus on ground in uh, nurture. Um, if there's an idea, a goal, a dream uh, outcome that we are fixated on that would bring us sort of a certain amount of joy or peace or, or, or add to our well-being and our health, then you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Like nurture that, grow that, live in that feeling and let that feeling sort of indicate your thoughts, your decisions, your um, uh, your movement forward. Does that make sense? At number two here, I should say with spread your wings, twos always make me think of the our relationships with others, right? Or relationships just in general. Um, but it can also be the relationship to the self. And, and the health of that, right? Like, are we feeling sort of at our best mentally and maybe even spiritually or, you know, sometimes the spirit can be very much tied to the emotions, right? And so can the mind, the mind and the emotions definitely play off of one another also. So maintaining that health, uh, keeping it uplifted, keeping that hope um, around us mentally, um, even if we don't feel as though like right now is the exact right time to move forward, that doesn't mean our goals aren't attainable. That doesn't mean that they're not available to us. Remember, we have that eight of uh, wands coming in the midweek, which should be shifting into starting now or maybe tomorrow. That will start us on the forward path towards whatever this goal is that we're looking at. And each one of you may have a different desired goal. So, also, just really quick. <laughs> the, remember, this week's grounding stone for the entire week is about trusting. And when we're grounding in our own health, in our own well-being, our own mental health, that sort of thing, we need to trust that we are going to do the best thing for ourselves that we know how to do. And I think that that's sort of also being expressed in these cards by staying in the present moment, by not fearing the uh, future, and also by not dreading or, or feeling shame around our past. Right, but being in this sort of present moment, very much available and aware state so that we can make our decisions and move forward when the time is right. I hope that makes sense. That is your forecast, you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with whoever you think may use it. Um, it helps me get the word out there. And you guys really have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and take care. All right, bye-bye.